Hey, what up, guys? It's Julia Van Speaker, and who we got on the show today? It's your boy, Bezo HF. You know what's going on? Grrr, <laughs> what's Should up? How are you? I'm good, man. I'm living life. Everything is everything. What's up with you? Nothing much. So we're going to jump straight into it. So we're going to talk about your latest yeah. release, Purpose. So we go from a track that you had, I believe, four years ago called Bang Bang. So we're going from Bang Bang to drill music to this particular track that's giving me a lot of Ja Rule, early 2000s feels with the love songs and the yeah. I love you baby type stuff. So how do we get yeah, yeah. here? <laughs> All right, so the honest with you, it's like a whole... It's like a whole transformation, like, cause I, like you said, bang, bang. I wasn't even, I didn't even know you knew about that song. Yeah. That's how old <laughs> it is. Like, that's really an old <laughs> song. But for the most part, like when I made bang, bang, I wasn't taking music too serious. You feel mm. me? It was like something I was just doing. Like, I just like doing it, you know? I wasn't really trying to make no like career out of it or nothing mm. like that. So as I got a little more serious with the music, I started like basically like perfecting my craft. You feel me? Getting better at what I do, making music for rather than just myself for like, mm other people and shit like that so that's how i got to purpose <laughs> all right definitely and how did you end up actually rapping because like you just said you was you wasn't really into it but what got you mm. into rapping in the first place to even start it off as a hobby before you start taking it serious because, like i see it a lot of my friends doing it and like some of my friends was actually like getting lit yeah like somebody somebody was actually like it was working for them and i was close with them so i'm like 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 now these is doing it i got it too i know i could do it i'm like let me just you know let me just try it why not yeah. Hey, boom. Now, now we here, man. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie to you. That explains the quality because your cadence stayed the same. Nothing about how you uh, deliver changed as much, but your cadence stayed the same, but the quality in your music got a lot better. And you Hell can yeah. really see the, the quality difference between 2017 and 2020, basically. So yes, it's, it's definitely a lot more serious than, you know, like you said, nah, you yeah, like, now. It wasn't... I wasn't really doing it like that too much when I was younger. Like I said, it was just for the fun. I wasn't practicing. And now I practice my music. Like, oh, wow. I rehearse my shit every day. All day, I'm constantly, like, like practicing songs, rehearsing mm. songs, shit like that now. So it's kind of a little more work added to it. So mm. Definitely. So let's talk about your last EP, uh, Nightmare on 80 Bick Street. Yes, sir. Uh, Nightmare so, on 80 Bick. So I, I want to talk about the title a little bit. So, I mean, for those that don't really know, um, what's the Bix for? I mean, obviously, right, I know, so, but... All right, so I'm from, I'm from, I'm from 80... I'm from Bessonhurst. Okay, Brooklyn, okay. New York. And, like, you know, there's a there's a main strip that goes along through Bensonhurst, through the areas mm. around Bensonhurst, like Coney Island, mm. and Bay Ridge, like, it's, it's an avenue called 86th Street. Mm. So, like, you know, growing up, like, 86 was where I would always be at. I'm in the train station, chilling on the corner and shit like that. And, you know, I was out there wild and, you know, doing kids. <laughs> Going crazy, being a menace. You feel me? So, like, Nightmare on 86. So, the Bix comes from, like, we don't really say, you know, right, I'm right. blood. You mean, like, I'm blood. Everybody know I'm blood. Cops know I'm blood. I'm in the gang book. Everybody know <laughs> I'm said blood. cops know. Yeah, it's not even like, don't I don't say too much because the feds be watching. <laughs> nah, it's all right. No, no, they know already. It's, that's why I can, you know? Yeah. Niggas know, already know I'm blood. That's, that's fine to me. They can know I'm blood, you know? They just don't know what I'm yeah. doing. But, um, but yeah, so the Bix is feeling like six blood. We just be putting a B in front of everything with like mm. me and my blood. So mm. it was like six sounds too regular, like Nightmare right. 86. Like, now nah, let's switch it up. Let's, let's make it a little more creative, something that's mm. more me, you know? Mm. So like Nightmare on 80 Bix. Right. <laughs> so that's where that. that came from. <laughs> so let's talk about the inspiration behind that whole tape, besides just growing up on 86 and being that menace. Why did you even <laughs> come up? <laughs> why did you even come up with a tape like that? You had six tracks on it, correct? I believe so. I don't even remember. Yeah, about sounds about right. Yeah, like six tracks. And you started off with Swerving, which I actually liked a lot. No, nah, I think I started off with 86. Oh, 86. Oh, 86. Okay. But so Swerving, I think, is second. Right, second. Is. But, um, but now. Nah, it's a popular uh, track, though, too, by the way. Which one? Swerving. Nah, yeah, yeah. That go crazy. <laughs> definitely. Y'all lost my light. This is definitely fucking with that track. But, um, for the most part, like, that's just me. Like, that song, that whole tape, like, that mm -hmm. whole tape, that's really, like, I wanted to give the fans, like, like, me. You know, mm -hmm. like, drill music is drill music. Like, right. everybody, but when you hear, when they say drill, they think of Favi. Right. They think of, like, who'd make that sound, you know? Right. I'm more of, like, the aggressive drill. Right. It's like, I'm a little more, like, bars with, I'm a little more, like, 
you know, like a little more harder with it. You feel me? That's how I see it. Definitely. So I had to give that, you know, I had to give him that, that aggressiveness that that drip really like comes from, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. And I was going to actually touch on that because you do make music that's more for the streets and it's relatable. Because every, like you said, you, you're doing bars and everything that you talk about has context to it in terms of what you've been through or, or what you're writing about or maybe somebody else's experience that you're drawing from and you're writing about. So coming up in Brooklyn and now that the surge of this new Brooklyn sound is becoming popular, how is that affecting your music? Uh, I try to like incorporate it a little bit into my music, not too much, just because like, you know, I still want to keep it me. Mm. But I do want to give the fans like, what everybody else is listening to type shit because, you know, that's what's selling, that's what's hitting, you know? Right. But at the end of the day, I do it for the love. So, like, like the love of the music type shit. So I'm going to always keep it, like, like me. You know, I would just always kind of give, like, a little twist into it of what they, what they got going on. Maybe, like, a little flow every now and then. But for the most part, I just be keeping that shit like me. I don't know. It'd it be comfortable with it. Definitely. And so, like I said a little bit earlier, you're creating music for the people. How has the, I guess the streets, how have they been responding to your music? They love it. They always loved it. You feel me? That's why, that's why I'm going so hard. Like, yeah. they loving it more and more now that they see, now that I'm starting to realize how much they love it. Mm -hmm. It just makes me want to give them something to love even more. Like, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, giving them some more heat. Like, go oh, word. Like that last track? <laughs> All right. We shall listen to this one. You know and what I'm saying? Fuel. Yeah, it's some guy. Like, yeah, it should make you want to go crazy. You know, it's like a bunch of loving my music. Everybody be posting my shit. It's like, nah, I got people hitting me up talking about I'm motivation for certain people. Mm. So it's like, so that gives you like a whole nother like type of kind of like weight on your shoulders. Like, nah, I got it. You know what I'm saying? Like, got to do this. Definitely. <laughs> and you're rocking the HF, by the way, the Hetchos, uh, Family Collective. Yes, what is that? If, if if For those people that don't know, because I'm not even too much aware of it. I know that Chicklet's in it. I feel it. I see the drip. I see the drip. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's, um, so HF is really, that's like Chicklet's, um, like his thing. He got, you know, that's his little, yeah. his little thing that he got going on. But uh, he made HF, him and Millenni. That's mm -hmm. like, they, um, when I met Chicklet like a year ago, basically, I got, you know, me and him, we built a genuine friendship. Like, mm. that's not really business. Like, it's more like, that's really my brother. Like, you feel mm -hmm. me? That's really my man. So, boom, for the most part, like, I got down with it, you know? Like, mm. I got down with it. I, it, was his, it was his shit to begin with, though. Because a lot of people think, like, we 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 started that. Right, yeah. But, like, I just, I know when I when I met him, he already had HF going on. Mm. He already had that rocking for, like, a couple of years, maybe. Maybe, like, two years, I think, three years, something like that. I'm not too sure. Definitely. But, uh, yeah. I ended up just getting down with it, you know? So how did that link up happen? Because you guys are starting to collaborate a little bit more. You have another single out with him, too, by the way. It's called She Got Me. And yeah, you had yeah, another yeah. song with him as well. Yeah, I got yeah, I got another song. I got another song called Came From Nothing. Um, I dropped that one. He dropped She Got Me. Mm. So how did you guys end up uh, rapping and doing a creative project together besides the HF stuff? It started off with um another artist. That that I knew, um, I used to work with him or whatever. We used to work together, and then I ended up he ended up hearing my music at work one day, mm -hmm. and he was like, "Yo, come to the studio." And he was and he knew Chicklet, and him and Chicklet was mad cool. So he was like, "Yo, come to the studio." I came to the studio. I was in the booth doing a song. I was mm -hmm. doing came from nothing. That was my song at first. Oh, wow. like I had I had two verses for the song, but yeah, I had um I was in the booth doing came from nothing. Right, I had two verses for that song. Mm -hmm. So what happened was cheeks. Chick that came in the studio. My first time ever meeting him, I'm in the booth still, locked in the booth. Mm. I see him through the booth mirror, like through the booth window. He's like, yo, what up? I'm like, what's good? Uh -huh. So I come out. My man's like, yo, that's gonna go hard. I'm like, yeah, good looking. He's like, yo, that, that cheek said he wanna get on it. So I'm like, well, where is my first time ever meeting him? You feel me? I'm like, I'm like oh, where wow. you wanna get on that song? I'm like, yeah. So I'm like, what's up? Like, you trying to get on it? He's like, yeah. I'm like, all right. So that second verse that I had, I just took it off and I had Chick La Hop on it. First day I met him. In and he booth. did this thing too. It wasn't bad because I was like, all right, he's an Instagram comedian. You know, everybody knows yeah. him for the like this. That crazy. That's talented. Boy, no, that's nice. nice. Hell yeah. Now, shout out Cheeks. He made good music. I, for me, like, that's genuine. Like, I really with his music. If I ain't good at it, you know what I'm saying? I would, I would honestly say it. Right. <laughs> that's that person. Man. That's that person. Man. Or if he needed work, you know what I'm saying? Cheeks got it though. That's nice. He got a good voice for himself. He sounds good in the store. He definitely do. All right. So, when do we get another EP or album from you? 
because we had one from you last year. So we got to we gotta talk about when we're going to get another one. So what I got planned really is like since I dropped, because that was the tape I dropped, um, Nightmare on 80 Big, that was the first mixtape I ever dropped oh, wow. like, ever in my whole career, in my life, you feel me? So, so that was more of like a drill tape. So right. with this tape that I'm, that I'm planning on dropping, maybe this year, maybe the end of this year, I'm not too sure yet. Um, it's gonna be um like a melodic a melodic take. Okay, I can see the direction. Since the last, yeah, since the last one was all drill, you know I'm gonna do this one a little different. I'm gonna do this one with like more more melodic music, like mm-hmm. one or two more singing like okay. that rather than just like a straight drill tape. Just so the fans can hear, you know, everything some versatility in you. Yeah, so they so yeah they because right now most of the shit I got out is drill. Right. And a lot of people do ask me like. Cause I post mad snippets and shit. So people do ask me like, when are you going to drop like some, when you going to drop this? And it'll be like one of them WW tracks, you know? So Exactly. <laughs> you gotta get, I got to get as a tape of that too, if that's what they're asking for. Absolutely. Absolutely. So this is my favorite part of the show. It's called Five Fast Facts. You got to be quick with this one. You got to drop five gems about yourself that your fans don't already know about you. And you dropped some pretty good stuff already. So let's uh, see if you got five more. And you All right, go, so yeah. boom. I never took a plane before. Okay. Wow. Okay. I never took a plane before. Yeah. Um. I never. Uh. Damn. <laughs> Keep going. Uh, I don't really. Oh. Uh. I don't know how to swim. Damn. I don't know how to swim like that. Word. I don't know how to swim. So <laughs> put me in the ocean. I'm, <laughs> I don't know how to swim. Um. That people don't know about me. You got three more. <laughs> um. Mm. I don't smoke cigarettes. <laughs> I don't smoke no bogeys. Okay. For people that ask it, everybody that's asking, I don't smoke no cigarettes. For me. All right. Um. Oh, I don't pop no pills. I don't do okay, no that's drugs. Good. I don't right. do no. I mean, I smoke weed and I drink liquor, you know. But I don't pop no zans, no perks, not none of that custom. I don't do none of that. I hear that. <laughs> what you got for the last one? <laughs> for the last one, damn. I think the girls want to hear if you're single or not. Because that's what I'm looking at right now. I think the ladies want to know if you are single. But whoever asks, whoever want to know, it's complicated. <laughs> <laughs> it's complicated. So you may or may not be able to slide in your DMs, depending on the it's day. It's complicated. It's complicated. You feel me? Like, like <laughs> I'm not saying y'all can't shoot y'all a shot, but if y'all do, what I'm saying is I might not respond. You know what I'm saying? Damn. <laughs> you might have to come at a good time. Yeah, it's complicated. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, you have really nice teeth. <laughs> Usually yeah, you don't expect you, that you, from rappers. You. So you have really nice teeth. Thank you. People be mad when I throw the grills in, but you know, I like the grills. I nah, spend money on them. them. Don't need I them. might as well. I spend money on them, though. I might as well wait. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you or not. Well, Benzo, nah, thank, thank you. you. Thank no you. problem. But Benzo, thank you for dropping by on a show today. I really, really appreciate it. Yo, thank you for having me, bro. It was lit. Absolutely. Anytime. You got to come by the studio this time. The next time you yeah, come. Next, yeah, next time I'm in that for a fact. All right, absolutely. Yeah. All right, I'm Julia Vance. This is Benzo. Thank you guys so much for watching and listening.